yeah hello everyone today a hp an elite book it 460p series and what is happening to this laptop what is going on here you connect a charger try to put on the laptop and you'll get nothing and this is what we want to address today let's try to fix this laptop and see what could be the issue and so this is uh, a bit older model of laptops they are, were a bit heavy they were a bit thick but they were they were durable laptops so let's connect a charger and see how this is happening guys so i don't have a multimeter with me but remember we are when we we go under the microscope we will see this if we look at the power supply the the amperage being drawn by the by the laptop and you will tell you will see that the laptop is not coming on yeah and so let's go ahead and uh, December this laptop and try to see how we can help yeah so guys I was checking the motherboard and I don't know what to say about this motherboard here uh, should I say this is another Oggy and cockroaches on a HP Elite Book 840 laptop as you can see a lot of roaches here they have been they have been acting a series here i don't know how many of you have watched this ogi and cockroaches it's animated series it's a very good series animated movie and as i can see maybe this is the platform where this movie was being acted as you can see the cockroaches here have done quite a should i say a magnificent job trying to damage this motherboard look out check out here yeah the same way that these cockroaches have uh, pestered the ogi yeah the cat who likes sitting down watching television and eating and the cockroaches will not let him live in peace they pestering him day in day out yeah check out all this dirt because of the cockroaches so I also suggest that uh, try to keep uh, the roaches out of your house if you are having electronics in your house if you're having a laptop if you're having a television if you're having a radio yeah because our three cockroaches the joy maki and d will be very busy on your electronics trying to pester every component on that motherboard until that laptop goes to goes out until the motherboard is dead yeah i can even see some joints here is that a leg some cockroaches parts here wow wow hey wow, wow this is too much and i don't know are we going to wow check check here yeah these cockroaches have really pestered this motherboard to the core you can see think all these are i don't know whether these are wastage these cockroaches have not even find it necessary to to make some sewer line they're just dropping waste all over waste management tactics maybe hire somebody to do their waste management thing check out this is too much waste from the cockroaches guys so Try to be careful in the house when you're having a laptop or any other electronic device. Because now I'm starting to wonder, are we going to salvage this motherboard at all? If this is what we are getting right now, how many components are damaged because of this impact? The Joy Maki and D effect on a laptop. Let me try to scratch a little bit and maybe... Maybe we could, yeah. The laptops, the HPs, this like the these HPs were a bit durable. Yeah, they were a bit uh, tough. They could stand uh, some some harassments here and there, like the one we are seeing here with the cockroaches. So let's be optimistic that we are going to salvage this motherboard, guys. 
you can see the parts here see the legs see the i don't know what other parts is seen looks like these cockroaches has been here for decades this it's almost an archaeological site. Somebody would come here and try to see the, how many generations of cockroaches have lived in this laptop since it was bought. And you would tell maybe to what generation now uh, the, the cockroaches are, the, the, the roaches are right now. Because what I'm getting from this laptop is that uh, this is a museum of all kind of roaches i don't know whether the the customer has been using this laptop or maybe he just got in got, got it from from where he had threw it he had threw it away and just brought it to a technician for me to fix let me insert a charger guys and see whether we can do something with this motherboard yeah you see there's a shot it's growing too much amp three amps that's too much and what i'm feeling to understand is it the whole motherboard that is shorted or is just some components so don't worry we will check this together and get to see what we can do about it but three amps that's a bit too high that's a bit too high that even when the laptop is on does not do three amps so something is wrong here so there's a guy here who's trying to get some some temperature touching the guy is getting very hot yeah let's just hope it's only this guy here yeah i'm putting some flux guys then connect the charger again and see how this flux is going to be melted by the by the amperes being drawn by that component or maybe other parts of the motherboard but this one is taking much of the amperes most of the amperes so let's see yeah, let me set it in a in a way you are going to see that melt down here. Eh? Yeah, so as I was telling you before, you see. Now this is one of our Oggy. This is one of our Oggy guy who has been pestered by these cockroaches until he has decided to give up in life. So guys, we'll take out this MOSFET and try to see whether we're still having more shot. and uh, i've tried i've tried to drive away the the cockroaches yeah i've tried to give them some pesticide here or some yeah the alcohol i use the isopropyl alcohol is very effective at killing roaches so it still it still can can work fine so let's try to see let's try to see let's try to see this if we salvage this motherboard it will be the best thing i'll feel good i'll feel happy because the this motherboard has been pushed to the edge by the cockroaches uh, the same way they have been doing to ogi ogi have not been living in peace because of the roaches the same case we are having here so yeah now let me see whether we still i have to check whether we still we still having we are still having a shorted circuit on the motherboard connect and now the power is just the short is out guys but i don't think the we can be able to tell this precisely without the mosfet being replaced so let me see an alternative on how i can get uh i don't know whether should i come with a multimeter here there's still a shot guys eh? check my multimeter there shots you see the the red light that is coming on when i touch on one side of the that that tries to indicate a shot now that place looks fine what about this area here yeah looks like our shot is gone but I've touched other some other components here and I've read that I've taken some short circuits with my multimeter. So I don't know whether I'm safe or not. So let me keep trying to check for some few things here and there. Yeah. 
yeah so subscribe guys if you have not subscribed that's one of the ways you can support us you can support this work yeah making these videos is never easy it involves a lot of work a lot of efforts a lot of time so just yeah, subscribe guys like and share and let me know what you think down in the comment section if you have a question we have left our contact details for anybody who want to talk to us it's right down on the details section i can see there's some resistance yeah there's a value here i'm getting hey, this is a short circuit here there's a short circuit guys we're still having a short and i hope you can still see that the the motherboard is still having a lot of dirt from the from our guys joey mark and d the cockroaches but check out here guys there's a short here check my multimeter there's a red light there coming on the led light there indicates there's a short on both sides of the capacitors and guess what we still have another component that has been pestered by these guys here and the component has decided to give up on life too and so let's try to see what we can do about this so 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 what do you think we should do anybody anybody with an idea there anybody who can give me an idea on how we are going to detect this short circuit who is shorted among all these guys see short everywhere short everywhere check my multimeter a short circuit whoa 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 what about this one yeah i'm thinking of maybe coming with a bolt injecting a voltage a, a, a wire that can inject voltage on this motherboard and try to see what we can get on the power supply the amperes to be drawn by by the motherboard uh, let me come to this section here and just uh, solder a voltage injecting wire so that we can be able to see what we can do let's try to see what other components are getting hot so my iron gun is not yet hot should i come with some solder here yeah solder is okay okay yeah, sorry sorry i think that's okay yeah let's solder this wire here yeah now i'll come with the ground let me try to reduce the amperage the voltage on my power supply so that i may not end up i may not end up damaging some components yeah i'm not very sure on what power rail I'm, i've soldered this wire so that i have to whoa whoa check the check my power supply is still taking some amperage the amperes being drawn indicate that we still have more components that are shorted on this motherboard and guess what yeah i'm sensing some heat somewhere here i'm sensing some heat somewhere here it's burning my finger it's burning my finger whoa yeah i think it's a cup it's a heat sink here and i think uh the component is under the under this heat sink so guys we have to remove this heat sink so that we can get the component because i'm getting a lot of heat but that heat seems to come from the other side of the motherboard so let me grab the, this heat sink so that we can get to to see what is under this heat sink and guys if after 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 maybe correcting this uh, fault here maybe after getting the the guys who is shorten in this case and we still have more shots guys i'm just going to give up on this motherboard seems we are going to have everybody shorted on this motherboard yeah i think this is the section here i'm trying to i try to assess this is the area and i can i can already see something here one cup is not looking very nice and you know what uh, let me try to to give them some flux here and see who is going to talk yeah let me see let me see let me see 
Let's put some flags all the way. All the three cups. And let's see who is going to... I don't know. Yeah, you see, I've tried to... Okay, let me let me try. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, I've seen a capacitor that is not looking very nice. Yeah, that one. Yeah. You see the capacitor that has melted flux very quickly? That's another Oggy who have been pestered by these cockroaches and he feels like he's done. He can't take any more. He can't take in he can't take more pestering. He can't take any more pestering from these cockroaches. So and this is our guy here. This is our guy. This is our guy. Yeah, so what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? So I'll just take out that guy. And if we still have more short circuits, I don't know what I'm supposed to I don't know what I'm going to do. So I might end up giving up on this motherboard because now that would mean the whole motherboard is shorted. Check, check how the capacitor is melting the flux. And the amperage being drawn by the power supply there. You have the figures being displayed to you by the power supply. So it's very easy to check out that one. So let me come with some hot air and pluck it off. I don't want to pluck it off like a tooth. So let me just use some decorum here. I come with some hot air. Not a power supply. Some hot air and try to grab that cup. C6008. I don't know whether you're able to see that. The capacitor we are we want to remove is C six thousand and eight. C six thousand and thirty three is also not looking very good. I'm guessing if you're still having more shots, it's the neighbor now. The neighbor now will be having the problem because he is not he's not also looking very nice. Let's let's grab you. Let's grab you. Come out. Come out. Yeah, this time round we are going to deal with the cockroaches and so there won't be more pestering of components on this motherboard by the roaches. Yeah, the cup is out. So let's see if it's true. Is it really true that the cup is shorted? Is it really true? Yeah, we may end up having a cup out and the cup is, is just fine. So let me test with a multimeter check the multimeter up there check the multimeter up there guys and our ogi is not settling our ogi is not doing any settling okay let me see let me see oh our capacitor is good that cup is fine don't know what to do now oh it's not check the multimeter the cup it's not okay this cup is not okay so he has he has run away where where, where where are you oh he's here okay so let's put him aside and maybe try to check whether there's more shot on this motherboard mm -hmm. let's see the neighbor Oh, the shot is gone. Check my multimeter. The shot is gone. Oh, is that a shot? No, no, that is not a, sh a short circuit. Shot is gone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurrah. Now I hope this motherboard is going to work. Because I don't want any more frustrations. I come too far. I come too far. And I can't afford to have any more inconveniences from the roaches. So let me dissolve this wire here. Yeah, live wire. Let me check whether there's still a short circuit here. Yeah, the short is gone, guys. I think we are having a good motherboard right now. So we're just going to test. We are just going to test this and see whether we oh whoa 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 is it no shot no shot i thought we are having a shot here 
I think we're good to go. So let's take out this wire. And guess what? Let's take back the MOSFET we had flagged off earlier. And see what we can do about it. What do you know about it? What do you know about it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, my mat is full of cockroach waste, cockroach dirt, cockroach remains, cockroach corpse. Yeah, my mat is looking very dirty, very disgusting, but well, I'll just clean it after this. I'll use a blower to blow away these components here, this waste here. It's too much, it's too much. It's making my mat look very dirty. The waste there. Yeah, the roaches have lived for quite long on this laptop, inside this laptop. I think I can tell from what I'm seeing here. So where is where is my MOSFET? Come here. Get back to work. We have worked on your cockroaches, friend. They are not going to come back to pester you. And so let's uh, let's 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 take you back to work. Is a Q27 MOSFET? Is it an NP channel or a P channel MOSFET? You need to read the number of that chip and go to the Google data sheet and see whether this is an MP an N channel MOSFET or a P channel MOSFET. But right now I'm not interested with the P channel or this whatever channel of a MOSFET it is. I just want it now to open. Stop being closed. Open. Pass voltage from one side to the other. Let's get going. Yeah, if the MOSFET is not going to pass voltage from one side to the other, as I'm predicting it would, what do you think I'll do? You think I'll get a new one? Come and replace with this one? Oh yeah, maybe I'll do that. But before we... We delve too much into that. Let first of all check and see whether this is going to behave. Because if it doesn't, I will do what? I will jump. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I might. I might. Hey, 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 behave. Uh, settle, settle there. I think it's okay now. Yeah, a little dance, a little dance. Let the MOSFET do a little bit of dance. Yeah, let the chip dance, and that's a good indication that the chip is in its place. It's seated on in its place. Yeah, should we cool down that part now? Yeah, this will be the be the best feeling. Trying to salvage this motherboard from what we have just seen, it will be the best feeling because some of these motherboards are not salvageable. The Hiroshima and Nagasaki we have just seen there from the two guys, the three guys, Joey, Maki, and D. Proper roaches. Roaches, roaches, roaches. Guys, keep roaches away. Guys, don't keep roaches in your house don't rear roaches don't feed roaches don't feed roaches so let me go back to 19 volts 19 volts and let me see whether we are going to connect the charger let's check the power supply whoa 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 yeah that's nice I think those amperes are good. The amperage reading is very nice. Check here. You see why I'm happy? You see why I'm happy? Just check here and you see, you, 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 you see why I'm very happy. Check. Oh, focus, man. Focus. Yeah. The LED light is on. And you know what that means? You know what that means? You do you know what that what that means? I know you don't know. Let me show you now. I'll show you. I'll show you right away. Let me connect a screen. 
I'll grab the laptop itself, connect the screen in. Yeah, those LED, they are trying to tell us that the motherboard is now back to life. It's breathing, it's happy, it's jumping up and down, and it's it's okay. So guys, don't power on your motherboard without taking back the heatsink. You will damage your processor. Your processor will go, will go nuts. It's too hot, too hot, guys. Also try to make sure that the thermal paste is up to date. Wipe off the old thermal paste. Place new one. Thermal paste on the thermal pad. And you can do as long as it's transferring heat from the processor to the heat sink itself. So coming with the screen. Moment of truth. Moment of truth is here with us. So let's see. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, do you think we have it? Do you think we have it or we don't have it? Do we got it or do we not got it? Which is which? Let's see, let's see. Let's see whether the Marquis, the Marquis Roaches have, have, have warned or we have defeated them in the name of Flux, in the name of Solder, and in the name of hot air and in the name of some skills here we get to salvage the motherboard oh you know that feeling of fun spin a fun is spinning is the best feeling for a technician after repairing a laptop that was not very promising see the fun spinning that's a very good feeling it's a very good feeling so let's see whether the fan is going to spin so still reminding you guys subscribe 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 yes we need you as our subscriber you can like share share the videos let me know down in the comment section comment something comment something on the, the comment section let me know what you think okay 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 let's see kaboom yeah 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 i knew i knew we had won the battle so we had won the battle guys so that's all for today we meet in the next video we meet in the next series thank you guys thank you guys for watching i'm your friend Ice and fix computer solutions.